hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing something quite different now i know this is black history month but to me every day is black history month but for the sake of this month we i'm bringing something new to you guys so i will be getting like getting people that created stuff for us in the black community and i will be talking about them so the first person on the list it's forever going to be my girl. Trust me, because without her, tuh, my hair would not be looking like it do. We got Miss Madam C.J. Walker. Her real name is actually... Dang it. Sarah Brettler. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I got so much stuff going on in my mind, like even forgetting stuff. So... Her real name is Sarah Breadlove, and she was born December 23rd, 1867. She was born on a cotton plantation near Delta, Louisiana. Her parents were Owen and Minerva Breadlove. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if y'all don't know who Madam C.J. Walker is, y'all must be sleeping under the rock. She is the first ever African-American woman to create African-American hair products. Yes, hunty. Ooh, what? Mm -hmm. And the only reason why she created these products is because she was suffering from hair loss. And she wanted to figure out a way to keep her hair from drying out and being brittle and actually growing back its natural luster. So who wouldn't want to try that out? Cause you know me, I would have been all up on it. Mm -hmm. So her parents were free slaves. Um, She was one of the five children her parents had and was the first in her family to be born free. I did not know that, so, mm hmm Her mom died in 1874, and her dad passed away the year after due to unknown causes, so, yeah. After that, Sarah went to go live with her brother-in-law and her sister. Then, they moved to Fredericksburg, Mississippi in 1877 where Sarah learned to pick cotton and was employed doing housework. Although her documents exist verifying her employment at the time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. At the age of 14, she decided to leave the plantation where she was at because of her brother-in-law mistreating her. And she wasn't going for that. <laughs> then after leaving, she ended up marrying a man named Moses McWilliams. June 6, 1885. And she ended up having a daughter named Aaliyah. Aaliyah Walker. Mm. So after that, her husband died two years later. Then she moved in with her brothers and to be and began work as a washwoman. She was earning a dollar fifty a day just so she could send her daughter to school. After that, she met a new man, which was her late and great husband by the name of Charles J. Walker. And they worked in advertising. Well, her husband worked in advertising. After that, you know, during the late 1890s, Sarah developed a scalp disorder that caused her to lose much of her hair, which is why she began to experiment with them hair products. Like, what? Whew. 
So that way she can help fix what was wrong with her hair, like I said previously. After that, in 1905, she was hired as a commission agent by Annie Turbone Malone, Malone, Malone as a successful black hair care product entrepreneur. Then she moved to Denver, Colorado. After that, her husband, Charles, helped her create advertisements for her hair care products. And her husband also encouraged her, so he was a good man. And they made her change her name to Madam C.J. Walker. Hey, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Like, after that, they was traveling around the world to promote her hair care line, giving forums, lectures, speeches, all of that, just so people can be aware of her hair care line that she done came out with, which was a great investment i can honestly see that now looking back on the from like what yes who after that she began to see progress she opened her own factory and then a beauty school like okay she lived at that time in pittsburgh then she moved uh, her business to indianapolis and it became very successful. So far, she done made several, several millions of dollars, which is awesome. Because after that, um, mm, okay. I guess through her determination and hard work, everybody was up on her stuff like, what? She was a relentless innovator. Walker organized clubs and conventions for her representatives, which recognized not only successful sales, but philanthropic and educational efforts among African Americans. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So she opened up a beauty school, created her own pomade formula. She got a built a mansion. Mm. And what she said was, this is a quote from her, and then we're going to end this out. I want the great masses of my people to take a greater pride in their personal appearance and to give their hair proper attention. Thank you, Madam CJ Walker. Thank you, boo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, whew, my hair wouldn't be as luxurious as it is now. That includes greases, conditioners, anything to keep your hair looking right and fine at all times. Thank you, Madam CJ Walker. Because if it wasn't for you, there would be no me in this luscious hair. Like, ah! <laughs> your girl's a whole crazy mood. But then after that, in the year... Um, in 1913, her and her husband, Charles, they divorced. They traveled through Latin America. Ooh. Then, to promote her business, after that, Aaliyah, her daughter, helped her facilitate and purchase property. Harlem, New York, stand up! <laughs> Recognizing that the area will be good for more exposure to her products. All right. After that, they moved to moved to New York, and she continued to produce more products, making it more better. She was around herself during the she was around during the Harlem Renaissance. She found more philanthropies that included educational scholarships and donations to homes for the elderly. The NAACP, the National Conference of Lynching, among other organizations that focused on improving the lives of African Americans. She also donated the majority of her money to African American towards the construction of the Indianapolis YMCA in 1913. Oh, so she was a boss making boss moves. Okay. After that, they went and moved to... Irvington on the Hudson, about 20 miles north of North New York City, 
in Hudson Valley. And she built a home called Villa Luro. Luaro. Cool. And it was designed by an African arch African American architect by the name of Venter Tandy. Awesome. Mm. Okay, and then we bring this to her death. She died of hypertension on May 25th, 1919, at the age of 51, at her home in Hudson Valley. In 1981, the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company ceased operations. A line of cosmetics and hair care products bearing the name Madam C.J. Walker Beauty Culture is available at Sephora Retailer. Ooh, I might have to check out Sephora and see if they really have those products out now to this day. Because I did not know about them. Walker left behind her daughter and gave her half of her estate. And she was buried... Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. She might be in a place where nobody can get to her, but I got to check that out. That would be great, a great vlog. <laughs> like, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This was also, 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 awesome, 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 awesome. That's my little quick little... Quick little video on Madam CJ Walker. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If y'all really look forward to seeing more of this, please let me know in the comments. And y'all uh, can let me know what next black history historian y'all would like to me cover like to, for me to cover. So we could do like Martin Luther King, Jesse Jackson, Frederick Douglass, Duke Ellington. George Washington Carver, the list will go on. Just let me know in the comments if y'all like this, and I will continue them, okay? We're going to try to do one or two a week up until Black History Month is over. So, okay? If y'all like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a big thumbs down. The choice is yours. Comment down below. Like I said, if y'all like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That way you be notified when I post. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace. Don't tell me I can have it because I get it myself. I'm trying to sell limits. I'm not with it.